Eternal Squad, man. It's AC Lucky back with another video. You know what I'm saying? Bopping out. You feel me? I'm just bopping out, and I've been really been feeling like shit been just been still. You know what I'm saying? I've been feeling still. I've been feeling the need to stay still because in this time, it's like a lot of people testing you, my nigga. Like, really, like these demons been testing me, and I, it's not like. A bad thing or a good thing it just life you feel me it's like when you just know who you are as a soul as a person it's like you will be tested more like these demons will test you more and it's not like it's your fault it's not your fault at all it's like something that's written in the stars i believe we all can say like Everything we go through is written in the stars. Everything we find out about ourselves is divine. This whole journey is really about getting to know who I am. I don't know about you guys' journey, but I feel like my journey is really about getting to know who I am because it's so many things we can do as human beings and so many things we can achieve in a short amount of time. And it's just about being staying true to, the, true to yourself, you feel me? Just staying true to yourself and... Allow your light to shine and bless other people with your blessings. It's like our blessings and our gifts be curses at the same time. So you got to watch how you really maneuver and use your gift. You got to use your gift for good. You got to use your gift to help other souls come to the light. I've been noticing like a lot of souls like they in the darkness and they don't know they in the darkness. They are pushing an agenda and they don't know they are pushing an agenda. And it's important to like really take a step back and really see things from a third eye point of view because all this shit fake. All this shit fake. I understand that like all this shit is really entertainment. All this shit is just like written in the stars in some type of shape or way or form. If you a chosen one, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And Malcolm X Discipline with the mind When you learn to control your mind It's like It's hard to not control your mind It's hard to not Understand the power of the mind Cause when you learn to control the mind It's like it's no going back And you know the power behind words One thing you gotta realize about words Words are vibrations Ver Words are frequency Words are many magnets to the universe. We use sounds to con to uh, contact the universe. We use sounds. We use words. We use numbers to contact the universe. And it's like you got to pay attention to the signs. If you are attracting certain signs in this time, like say for example, 444, four, four, I just seen that. If you see these numbers, it's like you got to tap into that because it's like, it's a angelic reason. It's a cosmic reason. It's like some type of intelligent reason why you are seeing that sign. Don't feel like you need to know everything. Don't feel like you need to have everything figured out. That's what I'm learning at the time. Like, I don't got to have everything figured out. I just got to let my blessings just be and let my blessings pour into my life because we wait for our blessing. If you notice or not, we wait for our blessing. And it's like, when we wait, we notice our blessing. It's like your blessing is already here when you start to be still and wait. And when God call you to be still, God mean be still. God mean is like, God meaning of being still is like trusting who you are as a soul and a spirit. We all spirits and souls having a good time in this body. We all souls and spirits just having a good time being a human because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's like what do people no 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 for, sorry <laughs> i got a lot of thoughts right now it's like what do you want to be remembered for like what do you want to leave a legacy for like what are you good at what do you do what would you do for free for the rest of your life and it's like damn that's very of an interesting question Cause it's like what would you do for free for the rest of your life See me I would talk for free for the rest of my life I'm not gonna lie bro Like I would just talk for free Cause like free comes with a price 
when you were talking and and you talking, it's like the more you talk and be quiet, the more gems you collect. I mean understanding that it's like the more I don't speak, the more gems I collect, the more I study the souls that are lost and the souls that are free and the spirits that are free. Cause in this present moment I'm seeing nothing but lost souls and free spirits. That's what it's all about. Freeing your spirit. Letting your inner child just flow. Letting your trauma just flow. You feel me? Because pain really don't exist. I've been noticing that. When I feel pain, that's not really pain. That's my soul talking to me. When I feel... uh, What word I'm looking for? When I feel just stagnant. That's the sign of growth. That's the sign like, yeah, I'm growing fast. When I feel stagnant, when I feel like I'm in a corner of just me and my thoughts, it's like, okay, I got him in the corner now, and now I'm finna knock his ass out. That's how I feel, because it's like, it's only you and your thoughts. It's just only you and your thoughts. When I say it's only you and your thoughts, it's only you and your thoughts. Not other people's thoughts. Not thoughts are not yours. It's you and your thoughts. It's you and your positive thoughts. It's you and your habits thoughts. Because your habits create thoughts. If you haven't noticed that. I've been noticing like habits create thoughts. And thoughts create habit. So create healthy habits. Create healthy boundaries. Create just healthy attentions to change the world within because it all start with it's all start within it's all it all starts with the person you are within i got a bird <laughs> i've been feeling so stagnant i've been feeling so like like drowsy that's just me recharging and i'm understanding that and i'm like damn i'm finna be dropping gems on eternal squad because it's like i'm growing into a better Man, I'm growing into a better person by just taking my path and not being afraid to speak truth and speak what's in my heart and soul to the world because this will create foundations. What I'm doing is for generations and it's bigger than me and I got to see what others don't see. Like, others not going to see what you see (laughs) as clear as day. Like, when you speak about certain things, it's like, people just gonna be lost in the sauce, and that's okay, because it's not their time. I mean, understand, it's not their time to wake up. It's not their time to see what I've been seeing. It's not their time yet. One day, someday, that someday may be tomorrow. That someday may be next week. That someday may be in another lifetime. But that Sunday doesn't exist. It's clear as day this shit doesn't exist. The much we learn about ourselves, the much we remember about ourselves, it doesn't exist. Like, you ever just notice something about yourself and it's like, damn, how haven't I noticed that? Yeah, shit doesn't exist. <laughs> when you've been paying attention to the divine moments in your life, you understand this shit doesn't exist. The world revolves around you because it's your reality. You are the co-creator. When you are the co-creator, you co-create everything you touch, everything you feel, everything you focus your intentions on. You got to focus your intentions on evolving. You got to focus your intentions on just becoming better and building that that self love foundation i've been noticing that like when you do things out of love is it, it comes one in union you become one with everything you become one with your person you become one with family you become one with the with the world because the world is you the world is within you and it's like 
the world opinion reflect onto you. So when you got a connection with the world within, this world reflects everything you are seeing within. Everything you are seeing through your third eye, it will reflect. And those things that, the things that are negative will bounce off the inner world. It will bounce like a magnet and and it will attract a positive frequency. If something negative reflects onto your inner world, that will re- that, that will really transmute into something positive. Because the world within is solid It's not about getting to know this world It's about to get, It's about getting to know the inner world So I want you guys to understand that It's not about getting to know this world It's about to get It's, it's about getting to know the inner world It's about to get getting to know the inner you The inner version of you The inner version of you is beyond powerful The inner version of you is beyond creative the inner version of you is beyond these years. You got to understand that you are way ahead of your time. You got to understand that. You got to practice everything you preach. You got to keep going down that path. You got to keep going down that rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it. You got to face your fears like... I really am inspired by Malcolm X to the point that I think I was Malcolm X in my past life, in one of my past lives. I feel like we was all these leaders once upon a time. It's like everything we do comes with a price. Everything you speak comes with a price. So understand that price do not have a number. That price... Do not have any number. It has value. It has worth. It has self-love. It has everything you can ever imagine. You exist in other multidimensional universes. You are the chosen one. You are the one that see things different. You are the one that's really brave enough to discover the unknowns of self. You got to be brave when you are uncovering the unvergence of self. Because it's a dark side of you that's really dark. And it's a side of you that's really light. So balance out that dark side. And banners out the light That dark side might scare you You feel me So when you guys When you guys are really Getting to know yourself And facing The shadow version of you You gonna run across some Dark sides You gonna run across some dark stories About who you are About who you really are It's like when people say Be you it's like, yeah, be you, except you in that story that you had to overcome. Because, like, our dark side is really who we really are. When I say remember who you are, I'm like, yeah, remember that that assassin version of you. And balance that out. Don't, re- don't forget where you come from. You come from the dark. So yeah, as y'all walk y'all journey, understand like it's all divine. It's not going to be perfect, but it is perfect in the most high eyes. Your story is perfect. You are perfect. Maybe not to this false reality because it's false, but you are perfect. You are unique. You have the ability to you have the ability to do anything the soul and spirit leads you to because the spirit and soul is who you are. You are the spirit guide of this avatar. 
you are the source never forget that you are the source you call the shots you are a top dollar and i've been noticing like damn i'm top dollar i'm a god i'm an angel on my worst days i'm gonna make you look like my best days it's just that simple y'all oh shit i'm just bobbing right now i'm not gonna lie i'm bobbing right now letting the ancestors speak through me and i'm just like the i like to thank my ancestors for like really reminding me who i am and where i come from because like times like this is only a fairy tale to the people that didn't believe in the dream of self-love and the dream of the power of the words we speak into the life of other people shout out to malcolm x man i got the ak-47 in my backpack what's the nigga what you know feel me <laughs> what's the name me what but 1616 i love y'all man with all my heart it's ac lucky son i know you feel what i'm not gonna be saying